In the Apache NetBeans blog today, you can read that the enterprise cluster has been integrated into the Apache NetBeans builds. What that means is, when you go to Apache NetBeans GitHub, you can see a range of top-level folders. Now, these are, in fact, clusters, and they match what you have in your installation directory when you use NetBeans. Inside each of these clusters, you will find modules, and these are all the modules that make up together the enterprise features, the Java enterprise features, in other words, Java EE or Jakarta EE features in NetBeans. And these are now part, for the first time, of not only the GitHub repository, where they have been for a while, but of the builds. So if you go to the Jenkins build location, which you can find in the README on the GitHub page, you will find yourself in a place where you can download the artifact, like any other project on Jenkins, and you will find a zip file. When you unzip that and you run it, you will have the latest build of Apache NetBeans, which includes now for the first time, as I said, support for the enterprise cluster that comes from the Apache NetBeans GitHub repo. So here I am inside that distribution of NetBeans. So this is the latest daily build. And you can see that I have started up Glassfish, which I am able to do because I can add a server here. And for the first time, these two are now available in an official Apache NetBeans build. Before that, these were not available since the service node was not available either. This all comes from that set of modules from the enterprise cluster. Next, let's create a new project. And when I do that, I see for the first time, in addition to the other categories that were always there, um, I also see here Java Web and Java EE. And by the way, also Gradle for the first time, since a very recent um, build of Apache NetBeans because uh, Laszlo Kishomi integrated his uh, Gradle support, so please try that too. But now for the first time in Apache NetBeans, we have Java Web and Java EE. Now this is essentially classic Java EE, so that is um, ear and EJB support, and this is kind of the more modern version with basically web applications. Now in the Maven folder, you will see for the first time these same different types of projects including, let's start off with, web application. Where in fact, we can create projects from archetypes. And I'm going to do that, click Next. And here I'm going to look for air hacks. So these are Adam Bean's um, archetypes. And you can see here that there is one called Java EE8 Essentials Archetype, which is very nice because right now in NetBeans, we don't have official support for Java EE8. However, um, by means of this archetype, we can actually uh, make use of that anyway, because Adam has very nicely put that support together within that particular archetype. So now I say here, finish. And very quickly now, what is done is that that project is created. And I will see that in a moment in my projects window. Here we are, Adam Bean. And a very nice little small project is um, all ready for us, a typical Java E8 type project with a REST endpoint, as you can see. Um, we can see our sources, and we can see our dependencies, we can see our problem. So everything is very nicely structured. Uh, we have here our REST endpoint, and what we also have here is our configuration. So here are application parts set to resources. And here is our REST endpoint, and this is very nicely visualized inside the REST for Web Services node here. And this is everything that you would expect, a very basic starting point for a Java EE 8 application. Um, as you can see here, the version is set to 8.0. Okay, let's uh, run this and see what we get. Now, this is all ready. Let's run this. Uh, we select our server and we specify whether we want to keep using that setting. And then we will see our application being deployed. So here we go. Uh, Glassfish is up and running. This is a previous project. So here we go. And application is being put together. And we see, well, not very exciting yet. We need to go directly to our endpoint. 
So here, enjoy Java EE8. In fact, rather than running the whole application, what we can also do is right-click on our REST endpoint, and when we say test resource URA, we end up at exactly the right place. So not in the context root, but exactly at the REST endpoint. With that, you see that inside of Apache NetBeans builds for the first time, we have support for Java EE type applications. We need a lot of people to try them out and give feedback so that the next release will be really great and have everything exactly as we need it to be.